Have you ever noticed that your computer is not as responsive as it once was? Or that it's crashing on a regular basis? I'm sure that one you'll definitely notice. But did you know that there is a tool built into Windows called the Reliability Monitor? This tool is a subset of Windows Performance Monitor, but the real concern or issue is that the average computer user is not going to know the reason why their system is unstable or why it's crashing. Now, this exceptionally handy tool can help almost anyone figure out why their system is misbehaving. At least, it'll point them in the right direction so they can deal with the issue. Now, as with almost everything in Windows, there are several methods to opening the reliability monitor. The first one, if you click on Start and type Control to get into the Control Panel, once the Control Panel has loaded, if you only see six icons here, make sure you click on the view by at the top here and choose either small or large icons. Once in here, look for security and maintenance. And under maintenance, if you expand it up top here, you'll see the reliability history right there. When you click on this, the reliability monitor will actually load. The second way to, to start the reliability monitor is again, click on start and begin by typing reliability. There you'll see View Reliability History. Again, the same thing will load up. The third way you can do this, and this is the probably out of all, this is the most least used way of all. Click on Start and type perfmon forward slash rel for reliability. That'll load up the same thing. Now, if you have a look, this screen is broken down into several different sections. Near the top is days and weeks. Now you can click on weeks to get a more extended view or days for the last current couple of days or couple of weeks. And that'll give you an idea as to what's happening. Right below that, you'll see this blue line here. This is the line that really you need to pay attention to. If it's at 10, you know that your system is rock solid. If it has any dips in it, something has happened. And if you look at the bottom here, there's a red over here that something happened and your system reliability actually drops off. On the far right-hand side over here, you've got five different areas. You've got application failures in this field, where if there's an application failure, a red X will appear. Second one down is Windows failures. Third one down is miscellaneous. Fourth one is warnings, which are not as bad. And the fifth one down is the information. Those ones, usually it just means an update is run or some program was updated or something happened. Your reliability, if something does happen, for example, yesterday I purposefully unplugged the power cord in my system to cause this blue line to drop down because showing you a reliability on a system that's 100% reliable is not really helpful for the guys that are having an issue with their computer. So I purposely crashed my computer and you can see when I click on this X now at the bottom here, it says Windows was not properly shut down. And if I view technical details, it tells me that, yep, the previous shutdown was unexpected, which is exactly what did happen because I unplugged the power from the system. If you click on these other ones where you see information, it said failed Windows update or successful Windows update. When you read through these, keep in mind, if it's just a um, warning, quite often it will say a failed update. And usually it's because you're running something at that time that the update is trying to update at the same time. So it can't do it. That's why I always recommend to everybody, reboot your system on a regular basis because any pending updates in the background will then finish off, which is why you occasionally get those messages saying, there's an update, please do not power off your system. The whole idea behind this reliability monitor is so that you can have a rough idea as to what's happening on your system. Quite often, application failures, such as a bad video driver, every day that that crashes, there'll be a red X at the top here in the application failures, and you can see exactly what's happening. So you could potentially roll back the video driver or go and look for a new version to it. And that will at least help you without having to pay another technician to come in and basically do the exact same thing to see why your system is crashing. Now, it is a good tool. There are some issues where the information provided within this screen is somewhat convoluted. And quite often, if there is an actual system crash at the bottom on the left-hand side here, you'll see save reliability history, 
view all problem reports, and then certain issues, there'll be another line here, which will point you to a knowledge base article or something else to, that you can search for the reason why that particular thing was crashing or whatever happened. And quite often, the information really isn't that helpful. But the overview is certainly helpful. Hopefully, this has helped you at least try and figure out your system a little bit more from what it is. And if it's helpful, by all means, give us a thumbs up at the bottom. And folks, take care. Have yourselves a fantastic day. So until next time, ciao for now.